Hello, this is Patrick with Royas, and today I'll be teaching you how to make custom nodes with the plugin system in Godot. Okay, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is go up to the project tab up here, go to project settings, and then you go to plugins over here. And then you click create new plugins. And so we'll be making this in C sharp. And so we'll just name this something like my plugin, like they've got there. And so that'll automatically put it in this subfolder if you don't change anything. We can just put a description, that doesn't really matter. I'll put the name as Patrick. The version will be 0 0.1, since this will be the first time. So there's a little thing when we switch this to C-sharp is we have to uncheck activate now because it won't actually work correctly if um, we do the activate now because we have to run the game the first time. So we'll actually also leave this the same as well. So now we click create. And as you see, it just created this script for us where we've got this enter tree and this exit tree. So I'm going to go back to Godot and you'll see that it's made this add-ons folder for us with the my plugin folder with my plugin.cs and my plugin.cfg. So now we'll create the node that we want to, um, like our custom node, so that we'll create. So I'll go A and I'll do a sprite 2D. And then I am going to make a script. And I'll just call this rotate sprite. And then I will click create. I'm going to close that, go back to Godot, and put that in here. Now I'll reopen it. And I'll get rid of this ready. And in here, I will just type uh, rotate. And then I will rotate it at 0 0.1 f. All right, so now that's done. Now we can go to myplugin.cs. And then we can type uh, script is equal, or script, and we'll just call this script as well for simplicity, is equal to gd.load. And then we'll put in script here. And then we will load from this folder. So we'll go and copy the path, paste that path in here, and then we will load the script we just made, rotate sprite.cs. So rotate sprite.cs. All right. Now we actually will need to give the um, node we want a logo so that it shows up in this search menu when we search it. So we will go and I've already made this smile logo. It's perfect art, don't question it. And I'm gonna place that in that folder as well. And so I'm gonna reuse the path that we've made. So I'm gonna go texture 2D, text is equal to gd.load again. And then I'm gonna load a texture 2D. I've still got the path copied, so I'm gonna paste that. And then I've named it smile.png. Smile.png. And there we go. Now we can go to add custom type. And then we will say, let's call this rotate sprite. And then we will put sprite 2d in here and then we'll pass in the script and then we'll pass in the texture and so this will add it to the list so that we can search it and then down here we'll just remove that custom type so we'll remove custom type and then we will just put in rotate sprite So I'll save that, and then uh, we'll run it. Now we go back to project, project settings, and plugin, and we click enable. And then we should be able to search it. So we called it rotate sprite. And as you can see, it now shows up here.
and we've got our custom node. And it's got the script already attached. So then we can just like ro pull in a sprite here. Actually, I'll just do the Godot icon. And then we can move that, run the game. And there we go. We now have our custom nodes searchable in the Godot uh, editor. So this should make it easier if you have a lot of thing, like a lot of scripts and stuff that you want. And then you can just like, rather than having to dig through folders, you can go and search for them. It's, it's great. All right. Thank you very much. See you guys later. Bye.